I made my 300 two stroke street legal and this is how we did it. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel for another video. And as you just heard, this is my beta cross trainer. It's a 300 two stroke and it is street legal. Okay, you guys wanna know what the secret is? Come here, get a little closer. Get a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back, too close. Wanna know the secret to making your two stroke street legal? There's no secret. You just need to have the right bike. Now you see, with these Beta Cross trainers, they come with an open title registration, which is a little bit different compared to the Kawasaki KLX that I got in the back there or the Honda XR100. Both of those come with an OHV title, which means it's an off-road vehicle only. Now with the Beta Cross trainers and any Betas in particular, they come with something called open registration, meaning when you go to the insurance brokerage, they're actually gonna ask you, do you want it for off-road or do you wanna get it plated for as an MC? Now there's not a lot of information out anywhere about this and it's kind of a hush-hush thing and a lot of guys just say, hey, don't say much about it, but I'm gonna share a little bit about it with you guys. So as I said, this is my 2023 Beta Cross Trainer 300 two-stroke and it is street legal. So I'm gonna just go over and quickly show you guys why this is a perfect bike to pick up if you want a street legal 300 two-stroke. First reason being is, like I said, it comes with this titling that's an open registration so you can register it as an MC or a motorcycle. Now one of the best things about the Beta Cross Trainer in particular is it comes with everything that you're gonna to need to be able to make this street legal. You're not gonna to have to do any sort of crazy wiring or adding in stuff. It's already got a turn signal harness included in the main harness on the bike, so all you gotta do is plug them in. So to be able to make this bike street legal, there's a couple things we had to do here. First thing being, we needed a set of turn signals. So we got some DRC front turn signals up here on either side. And then we also have some DRC flush mount turn signals in the back here. Now what's also nice about this bike is that it comes standard with all the controls you're gonna need. So you have your turn signal stock here from factory. You have your horn button as well as your high and low beam, which is you need to have those, right? So you got a high low beam headlight up front. And then when we come around to the rear, it actually comes standard with a brake light and you may not be able to tell, but in the very bottom, there's that white section of light and that is actually your license plate light. So it comes with that as well. So that is super fantastic. So we have turn signals front and rear, check. We got our brake lights, high, low beam, horns, turn signal switch stock. Now the next thing you need to have is make sure you got some DOT approved tires, which this bike also comes with from factory, making it super easy to get this thing registered for the street is really the only thing you have to add to it is your turn signals. And then these are the mirrors I've gone with, some Bike Master Moto mirrors. Now I really like these ones, so when you wanna go on a street ride, you can go ahead and just pop them up and out like this. You can get them situated in the spot that you want them. And then when you go hit the trails, you can fold them back down and they tuck nicely here in behind the number plate. So they're not in the way when you're out hitting the trails, but they're still there and ready to rock and roll when you wanna go and hit the streets. Now we've also used the sick ass um, license plate mount here. And then we've drilled some holes into the rear mud flap. Then we tap some threads into the plastic of the rear fender so that this just directly bolts in with, without any nuts on the backside. So you can just simply screw this in. License plate is mounted up. And then when you uh, wanna remove the license plate, we're gonna take the two bolts out and you can put the license plate off and there's no nuts to lose. So that was a really cool thing. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up any of those parts for your bike to make it street legal, they'll all be linked down in the description box below. Make sure you go down there and check it out. So there it is, there's the secret sauce. There really isn't any secret sauce to making one of these bikes street legal is they pretty much come with everything you need. It's just mostly knowing that you need, when you buy the bike new, you need to go into an insurance brokerage and just ask that you get the on-road plates and then you can get this thing street legal. So let's go ahead and let's jump out on the street. Let's go. All right, I think we're, I think we're good and ready. Yeah, so we we're finally out on the cross trainer here, doing a good old uh, road rip. It is street legal. We got our plate on the back. Yeah, we should just be able to go out and go for a cruise here. Should be a good time. It's a good fun toy, for sure. I love this thing. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for a, a cruise here. It's good fun. Good fun. Yeah. I absolutely love this thing. This thing's got just the right amount of power that it'll power a wheelie for days when you roll on the gas. It's good fun. Open it up a little bit here. You definitely get some looks. People definitely look at you like, what are you doing? Are you supposed to be doing that? I don't think so, but we're allowed, it's legal. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Good fun. Good fun. Soaking in the scenery. One of my favorite things, man. Just going cruising on the bikes. Love this thing. I wouldn't trade it for the world, boys. <laughs> I love it. And it's actually not horrible. I thought it'd be way worse on the road, but it's like actually pretty half decent in regards to like being, you know, a two stroke. It's all right. Could be worse. fun. Right, you got this absolutely just like magnificent little river down here. Yeah, he didn't look exactly stoked. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, so I was trying to do a live stream here, but the cellular connection was just not all that great. Good. 